Sonic the Hedgehog was a game released in 1991 for the Sega Mega Drive, or Sega Genesis in North American soil. In this game, you play as a blue hedgehog named Sonic as he saves the animals throughout the land captured by the evil Dr. Robot Nick. Why was this game even created, to begin with firstly? It's not because some guy thought that they wanted a complete twat to be the mascot of Sega, but it was because Alex Kidd wasn't doing crap for Sega so they held a company-wide competition for the design of a new mascot, and some guy with a hedgehog fetish made a hedgehog character and called him Mr. Needle Mouse, for some reason. That hedgehog won the competition, but due to the fact the mascot was being marketed towards America, they thought that his little hedgehog character needed a name that actually made sense, so they handpicked the name Sonic. Wait. Why Sonic? Well, because the gimmick of this game you all know, but I will talk about in the gameplay section of this review as I do not want to spoil a surprise you all know because I am a moron who is a slave to my own mind and I swear to god I want to die right now. Send hell anyways. Let's get on to the core essentials of the game. Firstly, the graphics. The graphics look like they came from the 90s. You often see bright colors, patterns, and lots of polygonal plants. The game kind of feels like you're playing a game based on the old Aqua theme for Apple products where everything was 3D, which is really cool. Really great graphics. Now, let's get on to the gameplay. The gameplay can vary. You have many zones in this game. The order goes a little like this. Green Hill Zone, Marble Zone, Spring Yard Zone, Labyrinth Zone, Starlight Zone, and Scrap Brains Zone. Some zones are focused on fast-paced action, and sometimes it's scrap. Okay, to be fair, I can get behind how Marble Zone is slow because it's based on puzzle solving, which I really like, since I love puzzle games, but all the other zones which are slow just come off as tedious and annoying. All the zones are at least decent, but Labyrinth Zone makes me want to jump off a cliff, but then it turns out that it's water and it turns out the cliff I jumped off was practically a real-life Labyrinth Zone but the inconsistency makes it very annoying when you're trying to play the game. Sometimes you have nice zones with short levels and fast gameplay, while other times, you have boring zones where it's really long and extremely hard, as well as boring. For this, the gameplay is bad, but the game isn't. I feel this game deserves a 5 out of 10. It's a decent game, with lots of flaws, but for every flaw, there's something good with the game. This game is decent, but it did spawn some of the worst art ever seen on the internet. Let me show you what to expect. Prepare your eyes. There's no going back. Thank <laughs> you.